Now let's understand about the while loop. So Python has a two loop command. One is a for loop, second is the while loop. So for loop we have already understand. Now we are going to see about the while loops. So with the while loop we can execute a set of statement as long as condition is true. So that is the thing we have to remember. Now let's understand with the example. So my first question is like print i as long as i is less than 6 means I have to print i as long as i is less than 6 how actually I can write a code for that so first you have to initiate so I will initiate with the 1 now what I will do or I can initiate with the 0 I will give some I will use a while loop and after that I have to put some condition so what is my condition i is less than 6 till then I have to print so what I will write while i is less than 6 so first you have to initiate and after that you have to use a while and after that you have to give the condition like while is i should be less than 6 right now what actually I want to do I want to print print i now after that because we have initiated i equal to 0 right first time it will print then what we will do we also have to increment so what I will write i i plus 1 i plus 1 this value will be keep on growing right so that's why we have put this condition so this is the syntax first you have to initiate then you have to use a while after using a while you have to put some condition after that what is the thing you want to do that you have to print and after that you have to increment the value whatever you have initiated so that is the syntax only you have to remember now if I will execute this you can see it's printed 0 1 2 3 4 5 now let me initiate with the 1 now in this case what will happen it will start with a 1 2 3 4 5 it will happen because we have given i is less than 6 right till then actually it is printing now if I will give i is less than 9 then what will happen it will print till 8 so that's how actually we can print that and it's very simple right in the same operation if you have to do using a for loop what we will do what actually we were using we were using a range function right so what we are writing for i in range so what we were writing suppose we have to print till 6 less than 6 so what we will write 6 and if we will do a print i I will get the same output so here we are not mentioning anything so it is starting with a 0 by default it is starting with a 0 that you have to remember and, and like this actually it is happening but if you will make it 1 it will start with the 1 so this is how actually we can use in a for loop and this is how actually we can use using a while loop now let's see with a while loop how actually we can use a break statement so what I will use I will use the same command i equal to 0 I will initiate I will give condition while i is less than 6 and uh, suppose I, if i equal to the 3 then I have to break till 3 I have to break so what I will write if i equal equal to the 3 then what actually I want I want a I want to break it and I will print a i and I have to increment i equal to the i plus 1 if I will execute you can see first it is printing 0 then 1 then 2 it should uh, <coughs> print till 6 right but what actually condition we are written if i equal to 3 then break so that's why whenever 3 is coming it is actually breaking so that's how actually we can use a break now let's see about the continue so whenever you will use a continue statement in that case what will happen that particular value will get skip in the case of the break if that value is coming the whole loop was stopping right but in continue if any value is coming that particular value will get skipped so what actually I will write I am initiating with the 0 I am checking while i is less than 6 I want to increment i equal to the i plus 1 now I will give condition if i equal to 3 then what actually I want to do continue continue I am writing if i equal to the 3 then I want to continue and otherwise I want to print now let me execute now you can see in this case what actually happening whenever the 3 is coming that 3 actually it is skipping and it is printing the rest of the value so that is the use of the continue whenever you have to skip any value then you can use a continue so I am starting starting with the 0 I am printing till 6 but I am giving one condition if i equal to 3 then continue means that value you can skip that 